Hey everyone, thanks for tuning into CryptoZX. I really appreciate you stopping by my channel today. To all my viewers watching my video, Anna, can I please ask you guys to smash that like button and hit the red subscribe button if you haven't already. This does help with the channel tremendously and it also keeps me motivated on making videos for you guys. But with that being said, let's jump right into today's content. Alright guys, before I begin, I would like to say the disclaimer, anything on this channel should not be taken as financial advice because I am not a financial advisor. Cryptocurrency is super volatile, so please do your own due diligence and research before investing in these markets. Looking at the overall crypto market cap today, we are currently sitting at $2.2 trillion. We're down 2.2% in the last 24 hours. Meanwhile, BTC dominance is currently sitting at 40.4%. Looking at the overall markets, guys, we are seeing in the last 24 hours a mild red across the board. But that is, uh, you know, not coming as a surprise to myself because we were seeing, you know, markets have a reversal once again. And you guys know uh, markets can have a cool off. It's very, very normal, guys. And that's exactly what we're seeing right now. Uh, but so far, everything is looking very, very bullish in my personal opinion. Uh, but today, guys, I want to look at none other than VeChain. All right, my VeChain family, if we are looking at the VeChain's price right now, you guys can see we are currently trading at 11.3 cents. We're down 3.5% in the last 24 hours in USD comparative. We're also down 2.9% in the Bitcoin comparative in the last 24 hours. <clears throat> VeChain's current rank on coin market cap and on coin gecko is at the top 27 spot guys. So we are starting to see VeChain go down in the ranking of coin market cap and on coin gecko because we are seeing some of the other altcoins outpacing um, you know VeChain as we speak. VeChain's market cap uh, right now is $7.57 billion and the 24-hour trading volume is at $349.2 million. Uh, again, one thing to point out for you guys is that you know we are not seeing enough buying pressure kick in right now. But I believe this is nothing to worry about um, you know, as we uh, do start seeing more uh, you know, reversal, consolidation coming to an end. This number does tend to go up organically. Uh, but if we are zooming out and looking at the bigger picture, guys, in just the last year alone, we're still up 811%. So let's not forget that when we are looking at the charts for VeChain. But now if we deep dive into the charts and see what's exactly going on, um, you know, you guys can see we're still uh, trading within this range uh, at this 11.2 cents. Let me bring up the Fibonacci retracement tool for you guys so we can get a better picture as to what exactly is going on right now. So let's uh, draw that out. Oops, not this one. That's not it. The wrong tool I have picked out. Um, there we go. Okay. All right, so um, if we are bringing out the Fibonacci retracement tool, guys, you guys can see, you cannot make this up right now. This level of support at this uh, 61.8 Fibonacci retracement uh, you know, zone is playing very, very strongly for the price of VeChain. As you guys can see, we have been bouncing around over the past few days around this range. And literally right now, as of recording this video, we are slightly below this um, right now so everyone's asking the same question where is VeChain going and where could we be possibly uh, uh, be heading in the immediate short term there is some FUD going around VeChain right now but again guys you know FUD is very normal uh, within the cryptocurrency space if you strongly do believe in a project you know you guys know the drill if you guys believe in the project and you have done your due diligence and research and have invested where you can afford to lose then you know patience will be your number one key to follow ethereum had fud when it came out cardano you know um bitcoin literally every uh thing had you know all these big coins that have established themselves and are known around the financial markets um along with you know around the world in general these coins all had you know fud around them for time to time and, you know, it does not come as a surprise to me if VeChain tends to have some sort of FUD across it. Nothing to worry about in my opinion because I'm still a very, very strong believer of this project. And uh, so far, we are holding quite well around this range, this 
uh, 61.8 is playing as a level of support for us, but keeping uh, this in mind, the Bitcoin price, guys, you guys can see we cannot be ignoring the price of Bitcoin. We did manage to get break above this level of uh, resistance at this $46,000 mark, and we went all the way up to uh, $48,600 mark, but since then we have seen Bitcoin have a small retracement. And, um, you know, this is very healthy, but what I don't want to see Bitcoin do is break below this level of resistance, guys. I'm sorry, level of support at this $46,000 mark to be exact. That's the last thing we want to see happen. If we break below it, guys, then you guys can see this $43,243 level is open for us to revisit. And this is playing as a level of support for us for quite a while and, um, you know, I do expect this to be a support level uh, for the Bitcoin price once again if we were to go back down to that level. If I am bringing out the measuring tool, guys, you guys can see that would mean Bitcoin would need a price drop of roughly 8%. And we cannot ignore these kind of moves, guys. We cannot always be super ultra bullish saying, you know what, guys? Bitcoin is heading straight to the moon. We're approaching the weekend and you guys know during the weekends we do tend to see the most manipulation occur in the cryptocurrency markets because CME futures are closed. So, um, you know, that would not come as a surprise to me if we do see that happen. Uh, but overall, guys, if we're zooming out, the charts are looking very, very bullish and everything is looking uh, beautiful in my personal opinion. So keeping that in mind because you guys know Bitcoin is the king of the markets. I don't care what someone tells you, uh, you know, XYZ coin will go to the moon. Absolutely not, guys. You always have to keep in mind what Bitcoin is doing because at the end of the day, that is the leading indicator of this entire market. So as I said earlier, if Bitcoin decides to break below the level of support at this 46k level, then, you know, we could possibly revisit this 10 cents mark. Um, because one also, um, you know, factor that I have not mentioned to you guys is that we are seeing BTC dominance increase once again. And this does not come as a surprise to me at all. Absolutely not. I have been saying this for quite a while. And if Bitcoin decides to... Um, have a retracement over the weekend about the, for about like five to six percent, then I could even see BTC dominance in you know um, climb up once again. Uh, we could possibly revisit 45 percent even. And if that happens, then yes, altcoins, not only VeChain, all the altcoins will be uh, you know negatively affected in the short immediate term. So if that were to happen, the price target uh, for myself is this 10 cents mark, but. I do not see that happening right now, but we do have to be prepared. What I personally would like for VeChain to do is obviously get above this level of resistance at this 13 cents mark, but right now we do need to keep in mind we're not having enough buying pressure for that to happen. So we do have to look at things realistic. Uh, you guys know, especially my day one supporters, my regular supporters, I'm not going to be coming out here and telling you guys, you know, or spreading false hope that, you know what, guys, VeChain is looking extremely bullish for the short and medium term and we're about to go to the moon tomorrow. Absolutely not. We have to look at things realistically. And right now, this price target is not off the table just yet. But long term perspective, guys, you guys know the drill. Long-term perspective of this coin, sky is the limit. You guys know how fast this, um, you know, project is expanding within, you know, the world. Uh, it's bringing blockchain. Guys, blockchain, we have been hearing this term blockchain and how it is the future um, of tech. We've been hearing this for quite a while, but how VeChain is really introducing uh, blockchain to some big organizations around the world and have them see you know the real use case the real potential is absolutely insane in my opinion if they continue doing this guys sky is the absolute you know limit for a project like vchain uh, and you guys know my stance uh, especially if you're a day one a supporter of mine uh, but right now for the short and medium term i would like for us to get a back above 13 cents mark and gradually move back into this point 50 fibonacci retracement level which we were at before we saw this El Salvador, uh, you know, dip that we saw Bitcoin have, causing the entire markets to have a retracement. Uh, but 
you know, that would be the sweet spot for, uh, you know, us to break above because we were unable to actually stay above here for, you know, too long because you guys know the El Salvador, uh, you know, a legal tender, how Bitcoin became a legal tender in El Salvador. Some of the whales, you know, took advantage of that news and we saw Bitcoin uh, have a retracement causing the markets to obviously follow the Bitcoin price. Uh, but we would like to get above here, guys. Once we get above here, then things really do get start getting exciting. So uh, that is it for today's update, guys. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think and where you guys could see VeChain's price go in the immediate short term. And do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, guys. This helps my channel a lot, and your support would be greatly, greatly appreciated. So just come down, leave a comment, like the video, and that would mean the world to me. Let's try getting 200 likes on this video. If we're able to do that, guys, you know, I will give away $100 out of my own pocket you know, as a token of appreciation. So let's smash the like button and get to 200 likes within one day. If that happens, then I will give, uh, you know, 200, um, sorry, not 200, $100 worth of VeChain to one lucky winner. And um, yeah, guys, stay safe out there, guys, because safety at the end of the day is the most important thing. Safety, health, and family comes first and everything else absolutely comes later. Road to 100,000 subscribers. I know we can do it. Crypto ZX Army is strong and I know we will get there. And with that being said, guys, I am going to wrap up today's video around here. It's been Crypto ZX and peace out.